Hello everybody and welcome to A Joyful Traveler. My name is Tressa and that is my dog Zoe and this is a 1996 Nissan pickup truck. And the back of the bed of this truck has six feet by four feet wide, four and a half feet wide in some places. So I decided I am on a quest to create the most comfortable, no build truck cap camper. I used to own a Toyota RV and when I bought my Nissan pickup truck I decided that I was going to make it into a functional living space a mini RV rather than just having a bed in the back so after watching all kinds of YouTube videos and Jim Bishop and all kinds of other creators I made a list of what I wanted in my truck cap camper number one I wanted electricity number two I want climate control Number three, I wanted a place for my clothes. Number four, a toilet for nighttime use. Five, I wanted a functional kitchen with a table to cook on. Functional meaning I have my pots and my pans and my food. Number six, I wanted a place for 15 pounds of dog food. Seven, I wanted a comfortable bed. Eight, I wanted running water. Nine, I wanted the ability to listen to my radio 24-7 without the key in the ignition. Number... 10, I wanted it to look pretty. Number 11, I wanted it to be removable, everything removable within 30 minutes to use my truck as a pickup truck. So am I crazy or what? Let me know in the comments. And I'll show you what it looks like as I'm putting it together. So let's get started. For the aesthetics, you know, I put in curtains. And in the other video, I'll show you, you know, how I hung the curtains. I put up a blackout curtain so you can't see, oh, from the outside, you can't not see the curtains on the inside. I put down a rug, which has insulation on the floor, so it keeps us warm in the wintertime, and it keeps the knees from hurting. And for air and for heat, I put in a Dometic fan. And you can look up that video right here. And I have a little heater buddy that resides in that corner over there, you know, between the wheel well and the, the wall. And in that corner right here, I have, you know, a little 400 watt inverter that is hooked up to my battery. And you can also see that in another video and I'll post that one here. That's the first part of this. The next thing I'll do is I'll add my dresser drawer. So here's my dresser drawers. The next thing that I put in is my table. And underneath my table I put my dog food container and my little stove. The next thing that I will put in is my food, food and my food containers. So this is my kitchen setup. You know, I have four drawers for you know canned food and whatnot, and I have you know my pots and pans and you know dishes. So this is my bed, and what I did was I you know cut it down, and I left a about a two foot area and I have a second pillow that I can put behind my back or you know prop my legs up and that resides on top of the thing right there the dresser so if I'm going grocery shopping or whatever you know I set my groceries right here so. that's my bed I'll show you my water supply in a second. Well, this is my water setup. I carry five gallons of water with me. I have running water in my truck. This is a, an electric rechargeable water pump. And this is a three gallon container. I have a one gallon container, a half a gallon container, and a half a gallon container for ice. And where this sits, from the sides of my vehicle, is right in this 
wheel well right here. So, everything has to have a place. So, those are my water. And this goes up in the front seat with me. The ice container goes up in the front. So that's my water supply. So folks, I have my water and my dog water, you know, is a, you know, a pot that you can have running water and the dog has fresh water supply at all times. We're going to talk about how I had the mechanics hook up my radio to my dual battery system so that I can listen to my radio 24-7 if I want to. I want to have entertainment in my vehicle and part, I like to listen to the radio, natural public radio, I like to listen to Christian music, and I like to listen to my Pandora music list. So what I did was I had them hook up to the, you know, the radio to the battery system. I could listen to my radio 24-7. So here's my dual battery system. Here's an interstate deep cycle battery and the battery isolator. And the fuse box down there, the dual battery is charged by the alternator when the car is running. And when the starter battery is, you know, the car is on, the alternator charges my dual battery. When the car is off, the, you know, it's isolated. You know, so the starter battery will never go dead. So these wires here, one of these wires here is to my radio. This wire right here, you know, I had them hook it up to my radio, so, yeah. And then I had them put a kill switch in underneath my dashboard, and here's what it looks like. So, what the kill switch does is it allows me to listen to my radio without the key and the ignition, and it also is a reminder for me to shut the kill switch off when I'm not in the vehicle. So when I am sitting in the vehicle without my key, I could turn the radio on just by fl flicking the switch. So, and I flick it off with the switch. So I hope that helps. Well, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.